Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about the new Champion Guardian. Um, they added Tempsu OC. They gave everyone three star, which I don't think they've ever done before. And on the surface, I thought he was, eh, whatever, a pretty cool character. But um, the more you look into him, the more you realize he actually, I think, has begun to god tier potential. Um, so basically, in this video, I'm going to show you like a whole bunch of clips of why I think he's beyond god tier. So this the very first clip. Um, we're talking about damage because you know that's like probably the most important thing to most characters. They could have crazy utility, but if they hit like Ebony Maw, they're probably not going to be used. The way this guy's damage works basically is at, he has these shield charges on the side. You can see I have a whole bunch, um, and you get one every 12 seconds, but they only last like 21 seconds. Um, so you don't really build it that way. But if you want to build like crazy stacks um, for like someone like a three star. Um, use the special three and it'll give you six permanent shield charges and Basically in this clip, I'm trying to build to a hundred because I think that's the max Maybe it's not the max, but that's just what I built to um, Basically, and then once you get all the shield charges you launch a nasty special too. So this is a full health Winter soldier. I mean Wolverine 400,000 health. I have a hundred shield charges. This is with a three star mind you So I wanted to see just how much a three star could do and I think this might be the hardest hitting special that a three star can do. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably some other character that can do something crazy. But just watch this. And destruction. So I basically was like a few damage points off killing a 400,000 health Wolverine with a three star special two. Oh, and really quick side note. I'm pretty sure that max damage special two from a three star does more damage than a max out potential five star sunspot special two. But you may be sitting there thinking, well, that takes like 500 hits as you saw, and the buildup on that is crazy, so that's not normal damage. So I just want to show you what one special one looks like. So this is Storm, 40,000 health, rank 3, 6 star. And I just want to show you the damage. So if you use a special one, you get not permanent shield charges, but just like, uh, I think, three. Do you get three three or four um, just non-permanent ones, so they only have like 20 seconds? Um, so just watch. Um, use the special one. You get how many? I think three. It's hard to read on Sony Vegas because it's kind of blurry. But I think yeah, I got three. So this would just be a normal rotation if you only use one special one. This is a 40,000 health opponent. And this is just a three star. I'm just reminding you. So she has 40,000 health. I just used one special one to get some shield charges. Launch a special two. And she... If I want to launch it. And she is basically dead. So yeah. That's only one special one. So that the damage just normally is still pretty good. No character is set with just damage, they also need utility. So one piece of his utility is basically if they parry's a special, he can perfect block for a few seconds or a few milliseconds. So look right here, it's gonna be in slow motion. He's using to use a special one and he throws it. And I perfect blocked most of them for zero, except the last few. So in like higher Act 6 content, um, this is going to be very helpful. Another nice piece of utility he has is none of his attacks will crit. Whenever they would crit, it would do energy damage instead. So it's like Guild of Team 2099 type. So like basically like fighting like the Abyss Symbiote Supreme, fighting Mr. Sinister, fighting Spiked Armor, anything that has to do with getting punished, getting crits, he's very good for. So you do this Mr. Sinister fight and you won't be able to trigger the region at all. So it's very nice piece of utility that um, you don't realize is pretty good until you start um, just thinking about it, thinking about all the possible uses for this piece of utility. So yeah. Um, the next thing, piece of utility we're going to talk about is the armor buff on the top left. As you see, you could probably guess what that's going to be used for. And if you haven't guessed it by now, you probably haven't played this game too long. Um, Havoc. Um, very good counter. If you have any armor buffs, then Havoc's Plasma won't kill you. But one thing I will say is um, if you have three or more shield charges and you use a special two, it will take away an armor buff. I think all of your armor buffs or something. So you have to be aware of that. But yeah, it's pretty just solid piece of utility just to have an armor buff in case you're finding a random Havoc. So yeah. Another really good piece of utility that you might have seen in that um, Havoc fight is... Ignore that. But he... Um, <laughs> He can block projectiles, so that's why he can block um, Iron Man Infinity War and Havoc's medium. It's very nice, and yeah, it's just a great piece of utility, and you can perfect I missed it there, but you're going to see in a second. You can perfect block um, projectiles, 
So, look, hold on. Iron Man Infinity War throws a special one. Block with them. Perfect block both with them for 0-0. Zero, zero. And it is very nice. So, yeah. So, if we look at this screenshot, um, this is for the the three star. The stats are a lot higher than a six star, like rank three. But one thing that makes the character great is a Sig 99, which he kind of needs. Um, well, he doesn't need it, but it's very helpful to be Sig 99. He has crazy block proficiency. So, block, so parries you like no damage to him, basically. And this is this is only as a three star. He has 2,000 block proficiency. Um, as a three star, maxed out, he has 5,500 energy resistance, which I'll show you in a second. It's really good. 75% bleed resistance, and the last one, critical damage, isn't that useful. So yeah, I'm going to show you why this is very useful. When you have crazy amounts of energy resistance, you can kind of go into fights that you really shouldn't be able to, like magic, for example. Right now, with a max sig um, 3 star against our max sig rank 3 6 star magic, we are only taking 100 damage from limbo. So we're just eating the limbo damage, and it's very nice. You can do the same thing with Iceman. Um, basically, just anyone who does energy damage, you can basically just eat it. And the stats are a lot higher for a 5 and 6 star maxed out, so you'd be taking even less with those guys, the Sig 99. So yeah, that's just a crazy ability in general, having this kind of immunity to energy damage. We were taking about 100 damage with him at Sig 99 as a 3 star. So I just want to show you what like a normal character would take. So this is Nick Fury. I kind of just threw him in here, and I was trying to get as many limbos as possible, but of course, uh, I wasn't proccing and I needed it to. But yeah, you'll see. See right here, we're taking, I think, 400 damage. So you take like 25% of what you normally would take. See, look how much faster you just, I'm getting shredded by using my three star Nick Fury instead of using the Guardian. And yeah, um, it is very nice having a character who can just eat Magic's damage. Like it's nothing and dish crap ton of damage back to her. But there were two of her limbos. I'm basically at one HP. And yeah, it's just very fun indeed. So, yeah, I mean, Guardian's just a beast. I don't know what else to say. This Nick Fury fight, he's literally getting destroyed by these limbos. It's just, it just shows, like, how much of a difference it is. And let me remind you, the 6-star and 5-star have way, like, better resistances than the 3-star. Or, like, a, the ceiling's a lot higher. So, yeah, Nick Fury just got destroyed. What, and all that gameplay you just saw was just from a 3-star. So, I'm going to put in the 6-star rank 3 Sig 200. If you were using a um, six star rank three, look, you have I think three thousand more energy resistance. So against like that rank three magic, six two hundred, you'd be taking literally like no damage. You, it would just be funny. And instead of seventy five, you have eighty percent bleed resistance. So your suicides, you heal from that. You have crazy two thousand six hundred block proficiency. He's just a god. And um, one other great thing is he does have a synergy with himself. And Wait, um, at 6 star rank 3, all characters in her team but him gain 1,250 more block proficiency. So overall, Guardian is just a beast. He is such a good character. I think he's beyond god tier. Um, let me know what you guys think. It also helps that he's in the tech class because the tech class is very sad. Um, so I'm glad we're having some beyond god tier, in my opinion, tech additions to the game. Um... And with that 8,500 energy resistance, he's basically not fully immune, but very immune to shock, incinerate, cold snap, frostbite, bleed. He's just a god, dude, honestly. He's just such a sick character. So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.